So it's not just President Biden and others speaking out. We're hearing from the candidates that want his job on the Republican side. Ron DeSantis earlier today expressing his support for Israel. Listen. First, just let me say, as Americans this morning, we all stand with the state of Israel, who is undergoing a terrorist attacks by Hamas, by Iranian-backed militants. They not only have a right to defend themselves, they have a responsibility to defend themselves with overwhelming force. We will stand by them when they do. Let's go around the table. Lisa, clearly we're going to hear from all of the candidates, essentially an important moment on the campaign trail for them to stand up to show if they were the leader at the moment, they could handle it. Yeah, and we're seeing a lot of solidarity now in support of Israel, as we should. But I, I do worry about as these dynamics play out, not from the right, but from the left, what that support's going to continue to look like. Biden says that they have his unwavering Support, but this is also a guy who wanted to re-engage on the nuclear deal with Iran and then also just unfroze $6 billion uh, to Iran, the world's largest state sponsor of terrorism, also a funder of terrorism with Hamas, who just, you know, executed these coordinated attacks. So that doesn't really add up, right, for, for him to say that, but then to be funding uh, Iran. And then you look at clips from MSNBC today uh, in people seemingly running interference for, for these terrorists and, and this attack and, and going after Israel. So the longer this goes on, what does that support look like from the left and from Joe Biden? I don't know. It, Lauren, uh, in the most recent candidate debate on FBN, uh, Israel and the Middle East was not front and center. That may change now. These candidates are going to have uh, a more uh, uh, responsible uh, approach to how they look at a policy, because clearly oh. their critique will be that the policy currently wor at the White House isn't working. The focus for voters has been the economy, a disaster, the border, a disaster, and now foreign policy. When America is weak on the world stage, Afghanistan, we have a, the situation with Russia and Ukraine, and now this, foreign policy and the way we handle our the issues around the world, our stance in it, I think that becomes a major voter issue. And so far, we've heard from the president of the United States, and he's condemned what's happened um, in Israel. We stand by Israel. But when Israel, because this is their 9-11 moment, when they respond mm -hmm. with violence, is he going to condemn that? How does he... How does he address the violence that Israel will put back on Hamas. It's a great point. And Pete, I noticed you got to listen to the to the actual language. Now, in Joe Biden's uh, address to the nation, he said that Israel has a right to defend itself. Full stop, he said. So he checked that box. DeSantis took the rhetoric one step further, saying not only a right, but a responsibility. Your thoughts? Yeah, I'm not worried about how the Republicans would respond to this. I mean, how many wars were started under Donald Trump's watch? Not Ukraine. Not this. This is how many members the White House is staffed by millennial pro Palestinian millennials. It is whose reflex is to tweet both sides -ism. you know, hey, both sides are responsible. That's their reflex. In fact, the Palestinian branch of the State Department in Israel tweeted something just like that right away and then deleted it. That's their instinct inside the DNA of Blame the modern Israel. Democrat. Bring both, oh, both sides. Calm down, everybody. I watched Palestinian, it wasn't just terrorists, this is an army, go in and pull grandmas out and murder women and children. And what Israel's about to do is bring hell down on Hamas if they do it right. I mean real war, not like TV war. Real war, stacking bodies, dead people. Because Bibi Netanyahu's not going to mess around here. What happens when that happens? Will the pro-Palestinian yeah. millennials stay off their Twitter keep? I don't think they're going to be able to resist, let alone the squad. Yeah. So it's going to take real fortitude to actually stand behind Israel. A new issue well. yeah. for the candidates. And does Pete, Biden have that? Uh, you know. Pete is fired up. I love it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.